90 Day The single life star Debbie Johnson is asking for prayers as she has been left in tears after being turned down at the Canada border. Debbie Johnson's relationship with her boyfriend Tony Starcevich is in trouble as she has been turned down at the U.S.-Canada border. Despite having traveled to Canada multiple times, the 90-day fiancé star was denied entry and must go back to Las Vegas until her paperwork is filed. Debbie is devastated and expected leniency due to her age, but now she must apply again to reunite with Tony in Canada. 90 Day The single life star Debbie Johnson's relationship with her boyfriend, Tony Starcevich, could be in trouble as Colt Johnson's mother is now asking for prayers on social media. Debbie is a 70-year-old woman from Las Vegas who was first introduced in 90 Day Fiancé Season 6 when Colt brought his Brazilian fiancé Larissa Lima to America. Colt was overly attached to his mother, while Debbie and Larissa never got along. The monster-in-law turned over a new leaf when she started looking for love and found Tony, who's from Canada. Debbie decided to move to Canada against Colt's wishes, leading to a rift between them. However, Debbie's dream of starting a new life together with Tony in Canada might never become a reality after what Debbie recently revealed on Instagram. Debbie shared a post saying she had really bad news and that she was turned down at the Canadian border. Debbie had already been spotted in Canada with Tony several times, but when it came to making things official with a permanent residency, Debbie was seemingly given the wrong advice. I have to go back to Vegas until my permanent residency is filed, Debbie wrote. She revealed that they were given bad information, otherwise she would have filed the paperwork sooner. While Debbie asked for prayers please, she added that she was in the middle of gathering all the required documents and information needed for her to apply for Canadian residency. Debbie was told, no P can't come in, despite all the times she's traveled to the country so far. Debbie felt that it was ironic that two old people who found love in their early 70s wanted to be together, and they couldn't spend their remaining years together. Debbie expected the officials to be lenient towards her because of her age. She was devastated to hear them saying that she couldn't come back until her paperwork was filed. Although Debbie understood that laws should be followed, she seemed to have wanted to be an exception to the rule, given how she was elderly and hoping to reunite with her true love. Debbie cried about having to leave the man she loved with only the clothes on her back. Debbie is aware that they should have filed the paperwork diligently, but is bitter because she was now allowed to come in.